Hello and welcome to another video review. This is Sango Fighter 2 for DOS. This is the sequel to Sango Fighter. It's a fighting game developed by Panda Entertainment that was first released in 1995, but it was never distributed outside of Taiwan and China. And the strange thing about this was that it was picked up by an actually American uh, company much later on down the line. They translated it over to English and released it as a free download on their website last year. So if you're interested, you can of course pick this up. It is available on their website. I will have a link in the video description box where you can pick it up. And it's like Sango Fighter was fairly popular in its own region. It just never really saw any popularity outside because of the fact that it wasn't distributed. That said, the real question here is, is this an improvement over the original Sango Fighter? I mean, the original I actually rather enjoy, even to this day, even though it has a lot of problems. And there's plenty of better fighting games out there, but it's still fun to play. So, how's Sango Fighter 2? Is it an improvement, or what? Well, as far as the presentation goes, it's a step up across the board from the original game. The sprite work is better, it's much more detailed, the animations are smoother, they don't seem quite as janky. The animations are actually sped up as well, so it's smoother in general. The uh, sprite work in the backgrounds is also more detailed, and you're seeing more in, in that than you did in the original game. The menus are nice and clean, the text is easy to read, all of that. The sound design is also something that saw a decent improvement over the original. The uh, sound effects in particular just sound a lot better. In the original game, they sounded rather weak, and the voices in particular just sound garbled. Well, in this one, you can kind of make out what they're saying, actually, and you can tell that the audio quality has been improved a fairly sizable margin. I'm actually not as big of a fan of the music in this as I was of the original music, but it works pretty well for what it is, and it's pretty decent arcade fighter music, so it works out pretty well for the most part. But obviously what really matter in games are the story and the gameplay, although in this particular case, because it's a fighting game, the story doesn't really mean all that much. It's set during the Romance of the Three Kingdoms era, based on the novels very, very loosely. It basically uses characters from them, and that's about it. There's not really much to this thing, except for the various generals are trying to seize control of ancient China. That's pretty much it. And you play as a variety of generals over the course of the game, depending on who you feel like playing as in a given situation, if you're playing the story mode anyway. If you're just doing the battles, then, well, you just pick whoever you want, and you have a fairly wide selection of generals available to you, each of whom has their own special moves and their own strengths and weaknesses and that sort of thing. But the real question here is, did they improve the fighting mechanics over Sango Fighter 1? Which was a very simple game. It didn't really hold a candle to things like Street Fighter 2, for instance, but it wasn't really meant to either. This was a DOS game, and DOS fighting games were never particularly big. You had this, uh, namely Sango Fighter 1, actually, and you had One Must Fall 2097, and those are really the only ones I can think of off the top of my head that were native DOS games that were any decent. Even the DOS ports of things like Street Fighter 2 weren't really that great. So. When this thing was actually fairly playable and enjoyable at the time, at least the original was, I mean, it was something to write home about. Well, Sango Fighter 2 does some things that are different from the original. For one, it's faster. Quite a bit faster, in fact. And you will see that in this video, if you're familiar with the original game anyway. Everything moves faster, it's quicker to react to things, and you find that the fighting just feels a lot smoother as a result. It feels more like a proper fighting game and less like a it's limited by the DOS platform. The controls are still a bit awkward. It does use, if you're not using a gamepad, it does actually use the either the numpad or the, um, the equivalent over on the QWE, etc. Which ends up being kinda awkward you get used to it, 
Uh, the move sets themselves are just kind of odd in terms of controls, so you do get used to those over time, but aside from that, it plays out a lot like the original did. So you'll find that all the moves you knew from the original game pretty much apply here. They did change up a couple of them, but pretty much everything applies here as well. And so it's very familiar. The problems I had with it were in how the AI actually handles things. Now this may just be a result of Super Fighter Team making changes to the game code because they did do some improvements and enhancements here and there uh, to make it a more playable experience on uh, even DOSBox and of course they had to do some things with translation anyway so it's might as well right but I found that the AI is too good and by that I mean that they're basically capable of blocking literally everything you throw at them no matter what they're able to instantly react to anything you do and you can't instantly react to anything they do and they're capable of throwing out pretty insane combos at you that you just can't react to and end up having huge chunks of your health taken out. And you'll see in this video that I'm having a really hard time here. But at the same time, I kind of appreciate that. Because if I were playing against a human opponent, which is how you're really supposed to play a fighting game, this wouldn't be as much of a problem. It would be a much smoother fighting game experience. The problem is I haven't played it with other people, and considering it's a DOS game, there's no online functionality, so it's all done with local versus. The old school way. And I don't have anybody around to do that with, so... That's where the thing kind of falls apart. The AI is too good. Which, I mean, if you can beat the AI, that's a good thing, because that means you're just a total badass. But when you're actually trying to play, it ends up being incredibly frustrating to have to deal with these uh, ludicrous combos that the enemy is able to pull off, and the fact that they're able to block pretty much everything you throw at them, able to react to whatever you're doing basically perfectly. It gets pretty irritating. And it gets even more irritating when you're doing the campaign mode, which they've decided to put in a proper conquest campaign style thing, where you f go to the different uh, territories, and you fight off some soldiers, and then you fight the enemy general. And whenever you go there, it's always a swordsman, a spearman, and an archer. And the archer is cheap as hell. So... That gets very annoying. They whittle down your health, and then eventually you end up fighting the general at weakened health because your soldiers that you sent, you, you have a finite number of soldiers of each of these types, and you can, of course, play as them. It's interesting. But by then you've run out of them, and you're on your general, and you've already taken some damage from the others, and it gets really irritating when you're trying to fight this general, and they're able to do the exact same thing, as in they are able to perfectly react to whatever you're doing. You do notice that your attacks will actually go through enemies when they're in their own attack animations, which can get rather annoying, and in fact does get rather annoying a lot, because you're sitting there like, well that should have hit, but it didn't because they went into their attack animation just perfectly and ended up taking out a huge chunk of my health. Well, damn. So, that's kind of the common occurrence with regards to Sango Fighter 2 you find that it ends up being kind of frustrating just because you go through and it's like, okay, well, I'll just do these maneuvers that I've learned and that it, this seems like a good combo. Well, they block it and then they just hit you with their own combo and wipe you out instantly. It gets annoying. So, this is one of those weird instances. Mechanically, the game has been improved. It added in more characters, each with their own move sets and such like that. It uh, modified the speed of gameplay so it's faster and fits much more with more uh, contemporary fighting games. The controls feel a bit smoother, the fighting itself feels a lot smoother, but the AI just ruins it by being too good, even if you're playing it on the easy difficulty setting. The AI is just too damn good. So, 
it's one of those situations where you can beat the AI if you really try and get lucky, and you feel like a badass when you manage to beat them and you have a lot of health left in particular, but just playing against the AI is kind of frustrating and not much else. If you're playing against people, I can see it being a lot of fun. It's not like other fighting games out there. It's certainly no Street Fighter, it's certainly no Mortal Kombat or whatever. But as far as DOS fighting games go, it's hard to do better, really. You have One Must Fall 2097, which is pretty much my gold standard for DOS fighting games. And then you have Sango Fighter. And there's not really much else you can throw out there as ideas. They're ports of other games, but they usually weren't that good. And this native DOS game was actually pretty decent for what it is. It's worth checking out, in particular because it's freeware now. You might as well check it out. It's a piece of gaming history. But just don't go into it expecting the super tight experience that was Street Fighter 2, for instance, which was one of its contemporaries and was superior in pretty much every way, obviously. But think about what platform this is on. And you start to see why something like this would hold its own and why it would even become fairly popular in its own region. It's an interesting game. It can be fun, but just be warned that the AI is complete BS half the time. Or not even half the time. More like 99% of the time. But that's beside the point, right? Anyway, again, I'll have the link in the video description box where you can check this thing out. Thanks for watching.